Well, this is round three of the New Fish Southfield Spring League. The story so far, I had a section win on round one. Round two, I was away in Spain. You can actually have someone stand in for you on one of the six matches. For me, last week, it was Richard Vaughan. He did a fantastic job for me, securing second in section. So this is round three. It's already very, very evident that you need some weight. All the weights are coming from pegs one to 10. It's a 60 peg match. So I'm hoping I'm gonna be over in the other lake, in the woods. So fingers crossed, I'm gonna get a great peg to give me a chance of climbing back up that leaderboard. League leader, <laughs> draw bag. <laughs> Seven. 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 Oh, yeah, what's happening here? What number is it? 71, mate. 71. I were on that last week. We are. Yeah, they caught you then at section. Oh, yeah. Well, that's not the draw I wanted. Um, it can be a very, very hard section up there. I've drawn peg 71, um, fishing for a bite, to be honest. Obviously, a section win is a section win, so that's what I need first. But it has been fishing very hard up there, very hard, literally one fish um, has been the target. So we get packed up, it's um, going to get up there, it's going to be a barrow job. So I'm going to load the barrow up uh, and get to my peg. And um, yeah, loads of time to set up. Um, it's 22.9 now um, and we're fishing half 10 till 4 I believe. So I'll see you down on the bank. Five minutes to the off. Um, I'm up here at the top end, as you can see, there's no wind. What little breeze there is, it's off us back here, so that's obviously not going to affect us casting and stuff. But I always prefer it on here with a when there's a bit of a wind on. Um, Steve Whitfield's up here, he's on the MPEG, he's fishing in place of Wayne Bartholomew today, so he's on the MPEG. So, but that's a different five peg zone for me. My five peg zone, I've just been told, um, the last peg in it is peg 73, um, and I'm peg 71 in that zone. Um, it's going to be the same approach as uh, round one. For anybody that didn't see round one, the video from that, I'll put a link directly underneath this video for you. Um, it's going to be a two line approach. Um, it's going to be 35 meters and 50 meters. They're the two lines that I'm going to work. But I've got a bigger rod set up, a 13 foot XD, four meter, um, clipped up at 60 meters in case we've got to go long because it is, as you can see, there's not much wind. And if anybody around me casts long, then obviously I've got that rod ready to go. And if the conditions do deteriorate, uh, like they can do on here, then that bigger rod will allow me still to hit that 50 meter mark if it does get really severe like it can do. Um, that's it, the same mix and everything. I'll show you um, the side tray. Um, but it's like I say, it's very much the same sort of setup as as round one. Well, this is peg 71. This is all on natural bank here. There aren't any platforms here, so we're down in the water. But once you're down, it's really nice and comfy. Feels very very tight the peg in here. I mean that peg looks really close. I've not measured it, but it feels tight. Um, setup is the same. If I can get down here without falling down, I've got. I'm going to fish two lines, 35 meters. That is with. I'll show you these because I know some of you will ask. 3.5 meter. That's the excess at 35 meters, and that is the XC, and that's going to be at 50 meters. It's simple as that. Obviously, I can change if need be. I've got a, a 4 meter XD as well, that's set up, that's the same setup that I used in round one, but that wasn't for going a long way, it was just because the conditions were so severe. Um, everything else is the same, the side tray is all set up and ready. I'll show you in here, because I know you like to have a look. 
just a bit of water obviously for adding to my ground mate or washing your hands just always nice to have a little bit of water there obviously my ground mate i've got some dead reds and some dead fluoros in there um some dead reds way too many there but i've put them in water because I, I will save some of them for the next session keeping them in water keeps them nice and fresh so i can put them back in the freezer tonight when i get home and then some worms i've got some worms already chopped there and there is just some spare ground bait and some extra worms there if they really wanted a lot of worms simple as that and some spare spare feeders there just ready to go and um, i've got a flask with me got to be very very patient just got to fish for a bite to start with but i've just been told that they caught some fish here last last week there were some fish caught up up this area you never quite know where they're going to settle and what peg they're going to be on but hopefully they're going to be in front of me um very simple we're going to fish off past 10 till 4 and like i say if it's very very hard i'll just be easing back on the bait slowing the timing of the casts down as well um and you've just got to land every fish i'm going to start on the 50 meter line but I am going to feed the 35 metre line from the start. Not a big fish, but nice to get one first cast. Just reeled in. There we go. First cast, there's bloodworm in the feeder. Loads of natural feed out there. Cast even more bloodworm.
45 minutes in um, it's very very quiet I've got two fish I had one first cast after three minutes and then the third cast I got one on nine minutes both fish together give me about about three and a half pound I think um, it's winning this section at the moment two to my left has got one fish about eight ounce the lad to his left is actually fishing the pole he's just caught a fish on the pole only a small fish about six ounce but that isn't in my section so in this section there's just one other fish caught nobody else has had a bite yet I've not seen any other fish caught as you can see the wind is still off his backs and both bites I've got really were just out of the blue I'm still at 50 meters there we go, he's just got one next to me not a big fish but every fish is uh, very welcome when he's fishing as hard as this I'm still out there at 50 meters I haven't been on my shorter line yet I'm going to carry on out there for at least another half hour or so Let's just see what happens around me Well, it's just gone past the halfway stage and it's just um, just switched off. It's never got going at all. I've still got three fish for five pound. Um, that's winning this section. Two to my left. He's got two fish for two pound. Uh, and I think the other three lads have all got one fish apiece. Or very, very small fish, you know, three, four ounce fish. I've just had a bite since that last fish. Um, which is, you know, well over an hour ago. Really quiet. It looks like it's quite all the way down this long bank. I've had a quick look on my 35 metre line, I've not had a bite on that, I've never had a sign. And the fish that I have seen caught have been very, very small on the short line. So I'm back out at 50 metres now. I'm trying a selection of different feeders, just trying to just trying to pick a fish off, you know, different ways of presenting it. Um, different size feeders, just, just to try and trigger a bite. Um, it's not worked yet. So it's just gone halfway. We've heard the catching bream over in the uh, in the woods, pegs one to ten. But obviously that's a completely different section from here, so I'll have to leave them to it. So I've just got to not push it too hard, I think. Just be nice and patient. Um, it could be another last hour match again, I think. Well, it's just under an hour to go. Um, I've just had a good fish. I bet it's nearly three pound, just out of the blue. I had a sign for an hour and three quarters, and all of a sudden, rod went round as though a carp had took it. Um, but very, very welcome. Um, so I've got four fish now for about eight pound. There haven't been any more fish caught in this section. I haven't seen any other fish caught anywhere. It's very, very slow. Um, there's about 45 minutes left now, I think. So every cast counts now. It's been nice to get another couple of fish. I'm still on that 50 metre line. I keep resting it and going on that 35 metre line, but I haven't had a bite or anything on that line. But it's purely been used to rest 
the 50 meter line so hopefully there's a chance of a couple more fish it's not going to spoil fishy left and as expected there's been one or two light fish I haven't had one and um, there's a few minutes left so hopefully I'm gonna get one two downs just had one good fish it looks as though it was three might have even been four pound so he's not far off it's not far behind me and the lad on my right as I'm talking to you has just hooked one as well just from nowhere it's amazing how important these last 15 20 minutes can be Hopefully I'm going to get one as well. Just as I'm talking, the tip's gone round. Eight minutes to go. Well, you just have one, two down to the left. got the late fish that I wanted, half expected it, um, don't know if I want the section, really all pay off, um, there's been a couple of late fish caught but um, it's been alright, it's gone to plan, I've not had loads of bites but I ended up with five fish, I think I've got about ten pound, um, I'll just show you these feeders, it's been a two feeder peg today, or a two feeder type of a day, I'll just tell you why, basically the bottom out here on that 50 meter line is very very soft there's loads of dead weed and stuff and I brought loads of um, bloodworm back actually in the feeder but it's really soft and when you're fishing with a feeder like that obviously the very nature of it is metal is wire it, it, it sinks into the bottom because it's so soft and when you pick up you can actually feel that dragging through um, that you know the debris and the soft bottom out there it really is a strange sensation actually, it's almost as though you've got a fish on and then you get about 10 turns on it and it suddenly comes free again and that's because it's obviously pulled through all that dirt and stuff so for feeding my actual peg, that is the feeder that I've been using I've kept topping that line up as well with two or three quick feeder folds that is the feeder I've used purely because, because it's wire it obviously casts really well out there but because it's wire, thin wire the water can, can get to the ground bait really nice and easy and it it's really nice and easy to empty so as soon as you cast it in you can just strike and it empties really really easy but for actual fishing I've used one of those as you can probably tell because of the plastic and the nature of that design that has been laying on the silt much much better and if you wanted to move the feeder it's really easy to move this this sort of a feeder and it's not been digging down into the bottom but obviously because that is not as open as the wire cage it doesn't empty as quick so I've only literally just been lightly pressing the ground bait in the top just enough to get out there because it's only four feet deep so obviously you know you want a bit of ground bait to come off the feeder and spread on that soft bottom so that's the feeder I've been fishing with but that one that style has been much better for feeding I'm gonna get some kit packed away now wait for the scales coming down and hopefully I just hope I've got that section win again
nine pounds seven um, I thought I had a little bit more weight than that but it doesn't matter it's won the section that's the, the main thing so that's good so I had a section win on round one um, and obviously today round three as well round two in this competition like I said you can have an angler that fishes one round for you only one round and Richard did fantastic and he got me a two point so that should put me right in it I haven't obviously got a big weight uh, it will go down to weight and I really do need you know if I'm going to obviously winning the section is more important than anything else but obviously if it is going to um, be as tight as what we think it's going to be then it'd be nice to get a you know drawing a pile of fish on one session but you can't there's nothing you can do about the draw bag you put your hand in and, and what you come out with is what you're stuck with so you just got to fish your peg that you draw um, so that's good another envelope um, section money um, it'll be interesting to see the league table when I get home tonight just to see how tight it is at the top